everyone, in this tutorial, let us see about the if statement in Python. First of all, the if statement, it runs a particular program when if the condition is true. Let me explain in detail. First, let us see the biggest of two. Now, I'm getting a variable. I'm getting an integer input from the user. Enter a value for a. Then, I'm getting an input for b also. Now, I'm going to check which is greater. So, if if a is greater than b, it will print a is greater than b. If b is greater than a, it will print b is greater than a. Now let me run the program. So here in the terminal, it asks a value for A, let me give 10, and for B, I'll give 20. So 20 is bigger than 10, right? So it says B is greater than A. Let's check another example also for if conditions. Now let's do smallest of two. I'm getting a value for x and for y. Now let me check if x is lesser than y. I'll print x is lesser than y. Or if y is lesser than x, it will print y is lesser than x. Let me run the program. Let me give 10 for x and 5, 4 for y. Now it says y is lesser than x. Let us do another program to check odd or even numbers. I'm getting a value for m which equals int of input of enter a number to check its odd or even. Now if to check that I'm giving a condition if m modulus of 2 equals 0. If m modulus of 2 equals 0, then I'll be printing m is an even number. Or if m modulus of 2 is not equal to 0, then I'll print m is odd, odd number. Now let me run the program. Now it asks for a number. Let me give 2. It says m is an even number. Let me try with other example and give 3. It says m is an odd number. 
Let us move to the next program to check whether a person is eligible to vote or not. For that, I am asking the age of the user. Here, I am telling if age is lesser than 18, you are not eligible to vote. giving other condition if age is greater than 18 you are eligible to vote and one more condition which says if age is equal to 18 print you can vote Now let me run the program. It asks for my age. If I give 18, it says I can vote. Then let me run it again and say my age is 70. It says I am eligible to vote. Now if I give my age is 17, it says I am not eligible to vote. So these three conditions have been checked. Now let us move to the next program to check whether a number is positive or negative. For that, I am getting the number from the user. And then, I am giving a condition. If that number is lesser than 0 then it means the number is negative and I'm giving one more condition which says if number is greater than 0 then it is a positive number now let me run the program and give 80 so it means it's a positive number if I give minus 1 it says the number is negative now let us check if a number is a triangle or not. Here I am getting three values for A, B and C. And I am getting a value for B. And then I'm checking if A plus B plus C is equal to equal to 180. If it forms 180, then it means it's a triangle. Or if A plus B plus C is not equal to 180, it means that the number is not a triangle. So now let me give uh, 20, 30, 80. So this is not a triangle.
now if I give 100 40 and 40 this is a triangle 